This is a Lenovo ThinkPad T410 that I got from a uh, e-waste facility. Um, the only thing it needed was a hard drive. The exterior of this machine is really clean with that ThinkPad classic top and it looks really nice. The interior of the machine is where we start having problems though as the trackpad is really worn and there's a crack in there as we'll see closer up later. But otherwise, you know, the machine looks pretty nice. It's effectively a Core i5 processor, came with 8 gigs of RAM and just needed that hard drive added. Looking closely at the machine, the inside of the machine looks really nice. Um, there's a lot of ports, it's really specced well, the keyboard feels great compared to some of the modern like MacBooks and things. And uh, other than it being a little bit beat up, there's that trackpad up nice and close. And uh, you know, the interior is pretty clean. And we can solve those problems relatively easy. Powering on the machine, we can see that it starts up just fine. We can get into the BIOS here, and then once we're in, there's our boot menu, and enter setup. And we can see there that we have a Core i5 M520 processor at 2.4 gigahertz and our 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now that processor is from 2010, 2011 ish, so it's a little bit old, but it'll, it'll still do most modern things with ease and can still keep up with a lot of newer laptops. Now in the boot menu, we can see that we have that uh, 750 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive that should be plenty of storage. It, they're cheap, you can get them everywhere. Um, people are pulling them out of machines all the time to upgrade to solid states, so that's where we got this one cheap from. Um, so that's a, another good upgrade. This laptop is pretty well spec though for finding it from the e-waste center. Taking a look closely at the interior of this laptop, there is a large crack through that palm rest area, but that can be easily solved by replacing the palm rest or just taping over it. Again, looking at the exterior of this laptop, it is really clean. There is minor wear and scuffs and scratches and I've seen a ton worse. Taking a look around the front of the machine there is only a latch. On the right side we have a PCI MCIA card slot and wireless switch which is always a great sight to see, eSATA USB port, headphone jack, again take that Apple on this machine. We have a DVD RW drive, um, we have a USB 2.0 with power delivery, Firewire and a Kensington lock port. Around to the back side, we have a modem, battery, power input, and a fan for ventilation. On the left side, we have that hard drive cover. That's really all that's on the front area there. We have three USB ports, display port, Ethernet, VGA, and that rear ventilation fan. On top, there is just that ThinkPad logo in the bottom corner. And then also some indicator lights for charging and sleep up top, which is always great to see when your laptop's closed. Moving down to the bottom, we have a memory slot door for upgrading the RAM, product codes, dock port, battery, and then the Windows product key is also underneath that battery, so you can activate Windows 7 Pro. The interior of the machine looks like literally every other ThinkPad. You open it up with this lock that I couldn't seem to get in this shot, and then there's that typical keyboard, trackpad, and everything else. It's also got a webcam and a ThinkLite, which not many other, uh, some base model ThinkPads have. Okay, so we're going to be installing Windows on the Lenovo ThinkPad T410. Um, so I got the Windows flash drive right here. Put this on the side. Power this guy on. I think there's something in the optical drive. What was it supposed to be when I was given this laptop? But... Okay, well we're going to have to destroy that, but anyway, there's our, let's zoom in on the screen a little bit more, there's our Max flash drive, um, so we're going to let this go here for a second, it really does not like that, I need something to focus in on. It is thinking, it is booting. Um, the flash drive is flashing, so. So we'll give it a second. There, there goes the Windows logo.
and I will go here. Wow, this trackpad actually still works. Right, I'll go to install now. I do have for our next video. Um, it's not identical. That's with the fingerprints, but we do have a new top palm rest and keyboard assembly to put on this thing to uh, refinish it. Since it is a little beat up. Anyway, with Windows 7 Pro, since that's probably what's on here, 7 Pro. The screen is not in the best condition, but I was given this because it was being recycled. So, of course, it's not in the best of shape. Is our 750 hard drive. Let's get that install Windows going. So I'll stop this and we'll make a time lapse. So the computer unexpectedly rebooted, so we're here. I can't, I walked away, I did something else, but um, it was on the reboot screen, so. Um, the camera's not gonna like that. On focus. Need a new camera eventually, but. Anyway, let's see what happens. It was, the computer was completely off, so that's interesting. I was about to say nothing went wrong during this process. Okay, it said there was an error encountered in the encountered an error in the installation and I rebooted and Yeah, there it is. So uh I guess we try to install Windows again and see if that fixes it. Um but I don't know. We'll see. I'll get back to you. Alright, I guess so we are again. We're back to installing Windows. So, hopefully, this goes well this time. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a little angry, but that's alright. Okay, there we go. We'll check back in in a little bit and see if it, uh, see if it finishes this time. I just rushed back to uh, man the camera because... It's here, and I kind of want to see what uh, what goes wrong. So we're going to take out my installation flash drive to rule that out of the question. Um, so it looks like it's doing everything. Uh, last time when I came in, it was off, which is not a good sign. So hopefully this works. It, I mean, it should. I don't see why it wouldn't, but... It's probably going to take a long time. But we're here, that's all that matters. Um, getting devices ready. This uh, 750 gig hard drive, I thought was fast, but it's, uh, it's a little suboptimal, but it'll work in this machine. The fan is really loud. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw that. Setup could not configure your windows to work on this computer's hardware. Well, that's good. I like that. Um, so I'll take a look into it and see if I can figure it out, and uh, I'll get back to you on that.
So here is uh, Linux Mint booted on the ThinkPad. Uh, just to prove, here's the laptop. Same one. So we're going to erase this, going to install Linux Mint, continue our 750 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive. I don't know if you saw that, but move that out of the way. There you go. Continue. So Linux works pretty well on an older machine like this, um, especially when you can't actually get Windows to install. So I'll save you from watching this boring process since I'm sure this is going to go fine and I'll only come back if there's a problem. So uh, see you on the next clip. So here we're going to finish up with the T410 for the night. Uh, it's taken quite a long time but we're finally in Linux Mint. There's our welcome screen and the thing is perfectly usable. It's pretty fast. Um, I don't want to give away too much of what I'm going to plan on doing in the next video with this thing. Um, there will be a follow-up video. I plan on turning it into a Hackintosh. That's all I'm going to say. Not what version or anything like that. But I think that would definitely be cool since it can run Windows. Also, the battery is not not good. Um, but it does take a charge. Um, it, uh, it can be used for web browsing. It's adequate for that. It has a fourteen forty by nine hundred display, I believe in it. Um, and there's our specs of the machine. Oh, little blurry. There we go. There's what's inside of it. Um, so let's zoom out here. So yeah, this is the first video with this new recording setup um, on the beat-up T410. In the next video, well, there'll probably be two more videos on this thing, replacing this, and then upgrading it to uh, Mac OS. But anyway, here's a preview on the setup. Uh, i got a monitor and stuff over here to work at, and then you got the 1080 system up there. And i got my main cable light behind, but I bought a new desk, so we can actually have a recording area, so... Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, more videos to come on this laptop later, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and the new setup, and uh, I have some more videos planned coming very soon, so thank you. Bye-bye.